this video, we're going to learn how to integrate absolute value functions. And the first thing we need to do with this absolute value function is rewrite it as a piecewise function. So we have f of x is equal to, remember we're going to write it once positively and once negatively. We need a breaking point x is greater than, x is less than or equal to. Take the original function, set it equal to 0, and solve. There's our breaking point of 1 and 1. Now our original integral is from 0 to 2. So we're going to start from 0 to 1. We need the function that is less than or equal to 1. I'm going to go ahead and distribute that negative. So I'm going to get a negative x plus 1 dx plus my second integral from 1 to 2. That's the one that's greater than 1. So x minus 1 dx. Now I can go ahead and integrate. The first one is negative x squared over 2 plus x from 0 to 1. If I go ahead and plug in my 1, I'm going to get a negative half plus 1 minus, if I plug in my 0, I just get 0. So my first part is 1 half. Second integral, x squared over 2 plus, or excuse me, minus x from 1 to 2. If I plug in my 2, I'm going to get 4 over 2 minus 2 minus, and then if I plug in my 1, I'm going to get 1 over 2 minus 1. Well, this first piece goes to 0. My second piece is subtract a negative half. Double negative is a positive. So I'm combining 1 half plus 1 half, and I get 1. Won't always be 1, but it was in this example. And let's do one more. So this one is even more basic. We have absolute value of x. Let's break that up f of x is equal to once positive, once negative. This time when we set it equal to 0, we notice our breaking point is at 0. So x is greater than 0, x is less than or equal to 0. Now let's break this up into two pieces. From negative 1 to 0, we need the part of the function that is less than 0. So that would be negative x dx plus the integral from 0 to 1. Now we need the piece that is greater than 0, which would be x dx. Integrate, we get negative x squared over 2 from negative 1 to 0 would be 0 minus negative 1 half. So double negative is a positive, gives us a 1 half. In our second one, we get x squared over 2 from 0 to 1, which would be 1 half minus 0, which is 1 half. So 1 half plus 1 half is 1 as our final answer.